Peace and blessings to you all. This is the video on Philadelphia. And the last video I did was on the pros and cons of living in Philadelphia. Now today, I'm going to share with you the different parts of Philadelphia and its sections. Now, for Philadelphia, there are basically six parts to Philadelphia. And in each of those six parts, there's sections. I'm going to go over that with you and I'll share with, with you what they are. Now, the sections, um, or not the sections, let's go over the parts. Okay, you have Center City, North Philadelphia, South Philadelphia, West Philadelphia, Northeast, Northwest, and Southwest Philadelphia, or Southwest Philly, as we call it. There is no East Philadelphia, okay? No matter what people tell you, there's no East Philadelphia. This is a thing. Now, let's start with Center City. Okay, in Center City, that is the downtown area of Philadelphia. So some people say, I'm going downtown or I'm going in Center City. It's the same thing. Now, the sections of Center City are the following. You have Old City, Northern Liberties, Southwest Center City, Art Museum area, Spring Garden, and Fairmount. You also have within Center City, you have Logan Circle, Washington Square, Franklin Square, and Rittenhouse Square. Let me explain to you briefly. I'll try to be brief as I can in terms of the sections. Now, Old City is a neighborhood where all the tourist attractions that Philadelphia is known for is located like Independence Mall, the Liberty Bell, Pence Landing, Betsy Ross House, etc. Okay, so that's what Old City is. Okay, Society Hill is a place where a lot of your mom and pop boutique stores are located. You know, boutiques such as clothing, fashion, bookstores. Uh, what else is located there? Some of your restaurants that are located in Society Hill. You have, um, you do have some national um, food chains like Whole Foods is located there. We did have a Tower Records, but they went out of business. You also have Old Navy down there. And you have some clothing stores. And Society Hill is also a very pricey area. Next to Society Hill, I consider that a sister of Society Hill. That's Queen Village also. Queen Village is similar to Society Hill. Okay. Northern Liberties is where a lot of yuppies live. You know, your young urban professionals and also not so young urban professionals. Um, it also has some boutiques and also coffee houses and cafes and shops. Little one-of-a-kind shops are also located in Northern Liberties, just as much as um, Society Hill. Now, the art museum area is also a lot of urban professionals live in that area too. It is also where a lot of your museums are located. And it's also where the famous Philadelphia Museum of Art is where Sylvester Stallone ran up the steps in that 1976 movie, Rocky. So that's what that's known for. That's the art museum area. Spring Garden is where the former state office is located. It's also another urban professional community. And the housing in that area is also a little expensive too. Okay, now... When I was going to the high school in Spring Garden in the late 80s, early 90s, the houses were about five figures. So they were roughly, you can get a house in Spring Garden for about 20, 30, 40, and maybe $50,000. Now today they're in six figures because the values of the properties have gone up. Fairmount is also next door to Spring Garden. It is also a, another yuppie neighborhood. You know, you have a lot of young urban professionals that live around there. Um, you have a lot of coffee houses, coffee shops, and some boutiques along the main drag of Fairmount. There's a street called Fairmount Avenue. Um, there's a couple of uh, record studios there. Some people who record music is also in Fairmount. You know, so it's pretty much a safe, quiet area. Okay. Now, we also have what used to be called graduate hospital area because the former graduate hospital was located there. 
There's a lot of urban professionals who live there, very quiet, um, affordable. It's, it's a, an affordable part of town in that part of Center City. That's where that is. So those are the different parts of Center City. Now, let's take a look at North Philly, shall we? Excuse me a minute. Okay. Now, in North Philly, or North Philadelphia, there's a lot of sections, and I'll list them. You have part of Spring Garden that goes into North Philly, Fairmount, Francisville, Brewery Town, Strawberry Mansion, Yorktown, Temple Town. You also have Logan, Nice Town in Tioga, Hunting Park. You also have part of Juniata Park. And you also have Kensington. But Kensington, however, that's debatable. Some people think that's part of Northeast Philadelphia. Some people think that's North Philadelphia. But that's debatable. And speaking of Kensington, Kensington is a ghetto, it's a slum area. So you got to watch yourself walking around there at the dark. Okay. They do also have like mom and pop stores or what we call poppy stores, which poppy stores are term um, for businesses owned by um, someone of Latino descent of or Hispanic, if you will. Okay. Now, let's go through the neighborhoods, shall we? Let's talk about what they are and what they represent. Okay, I mentioned Francisville early. Francisville is now a gentrified area. When I was growing up, that was a ghetto. That was the hood. And now today, it's gentrified. You know, meaning that the property values of Francisville has changed over the years. It used to be like inexpensive. Now it's expensive to live in Francisville because of one um, rap people. How can I put this? A group of people with a higher level of income replace those of lower income. So what used to be lower income housing is now higher income housing. That's considered gentrification. Brewery Town is another gentrified community in North Philadelphia. Strawberry Mansion is still a low income area. It's the hood. You gotta watch yourself after dark in Strawberry Mansion. Now, some people ask, is there really an uh, actual building called Strawberry Mansion? That's actually a mansion? Yes, it is. However, it's not in the neighborhood. It's like in Fairmount Park next to the neighborhood. It was also the home where singer Jasmine Sullivan um, grew up because her dad was a curator in that mansion. It was. It's a museum. It's actually a historic museum in Fairmount Park, which is also one of the largest parks in the nation. I think it is the largest park. Okay, now, Nice Town, don't let the name fool you. Nice Town, Tioga area, that's a hood. Temple Town is also the home of Temple University, another gentrified area. Then you have Yorktown, which is like a middle class community, a lower to um, upper middle class. Well, not upper, but middle class area within North Philly. You know, one of the mayors of Philadelphia lives there, Mayor John Street. So we have like mix, it's a mixed income type of neighborhood. Uh, let's see what else we had. I mentioned Hunting Park. Hunting Park is also a low income area in North Philly. So is Logan. Now, Alany, they think that Alany is North Philly. Some people say it's Northwest. I understood it to be Northwest, and I'll get into that in a moment. Okay. And also East Oak Lane, that's considered North Philly. East Oak Lane is like a suburb within a city. You know, you have single homes, you know, three-story, four-story homes in that area. Very nice, quiet, tranquil community. But again, it's Philadelphia today. You got to watch yourself walking around, even in the nice neighborhoods. You have to really watch yourself, okay? Let me think of any other neighborhoods I forgot to mention in North Philly. So pretty much North Philly has been synonymous with crime, pov high poverty rates, things of that nature. Now, another section of North Philly you have is called Richard Allen areas, like where the Richard Allen homes was or the projects, okay? That's where Bill Cosby grew up at, you know? But when he was growing up, it was pretty much safe. But 
I think around the late 60s, early 70s, Richard Allen started to be have a reputation for high crime and shootings and like drug high drug use. I know in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, it was just really a very rough place to be. Now they've replaced those units with single homes in that area for the most part in Richard Allen. So this is North Philly in a nutshell. Okay, let's go to South Philly. Now South Philly, the sections in South Philly, you have Point Breeze, Grace Ferry, Wilson Park, Whitman Park, Marconi Park. You have also South Work area, and you have, uh, let's see, what's another part of South Philly? That's considered South Philadelphia. That's pretty much it. Now, Grays Ferry and Point Breeze, they're next to each other, and they're kind of used interchangeably. That's another gentrified area. Another gentrified area. You know, there is some lower class, low income parts to that part of South Philly, but you also has been replaced by middle class um, folks that move in, you know, and it used to be a predominantly black area, but now it's mixed with more white folks moving in to that area, Point Breeze and Grace Ferry. Okay, Wilson Park is a ghetto. It's a hood. So you got to watch yourself around there. Then there's Tasker Homes. Tasker Homes is a area pretty much by all intents and purposes is the projects, okay? Or by the Philadelphia Housing Authority. It's public housing. I don't like to use the word project because it's another word for experiment. But if you hear me using the word project, I'm just using it out of convenience. Okay, but you get my point. Marconi Park is also located where, it's also the home of where all the sports teams play at. You know, like the 76ers, the Eagles, the Flyers, and the Phillies. All the stadiums are in that area. And just north of Marconi Park is Whitman Park, so that's a middle-class area. Um, historically, it was an Italian neighborhood where a lot of Italians lived. Now, one of the main streets in Philadelphia is Broad Street, which goes through South Philly. Now, east of Broad, for the most part, was white and Italian. West of Broad was African-American. But now it's mixed. Now you have different cultures in South Philly. You got Cambodian, you have Korean, you got Asian. I mean, well, that's Asian. Korean, Cambodian, Japanese, Vietnamese. You have blacks that lived out there. You have Italians, you have Greeks, you have um, Germans, you have Russians. You know, so it's, a, it's like a melting pot. South Philly is like a melt, melting pot over there. Now, let's look at West Philly. Now, West Philadelphia is made up of the following. You have University City, Mantua, a.k.a. the bottom, East and West Parkside. You have Winfield, Winfield Heights, Belmont Village, Overbrook, Overbrook Park, Overbrook Farms. You also have Cobbs Creek. Part, uh, part of Cobbs Creek is in West Philly. And you have Haddington, even though people treat it like it's Overbrook. Okay, and you also have Mill Creek, thus West Philly. Let me share with you briefly as I can um, with each neighborhood. Now, Mantua, a.k.a. the bottom, is the hood. That's another hood. You know, they got public housing there, low income, but slowly but surely it's becoming gentrified as well. Then you have University City. That's the home of University of Pennsylvania, Ivy League School. Drexel University, and also University of Sciences in Philadelphia, Walnut Hill College. So that's pretty much the college town part. That's college. That's like a college town. Now, East Parkside is a low-income area. Some people argue whether or not that's the bottom, but that's like the upper part of the bottom. Then you have West Parkside, which is gradually becoming a judge, another gentrified community. Now, Winfield. Okay, Winfield is a former Jewish turned African American community, middle class, a middle class neighborhood. Winfield is also, well, this just happened in the 1960s when it went from Jewish to African American. 
over time. It wasn't like gradual where they just up and left as soon as black people moved there. No, it happened gradually. But today it's a predominantly African-American community. It is also the home of producer uh, producer Lee Daniels. For those of you who do not know who he is, he was the producer of the show Empire, the movie Monsters Ball with Cuba Gooding Jr. and so on. Look up his information. It is also the home of Will Smith, where he grew up at as well. Okay, Winfield is like a su another suburb within the city. And, you know, they have twin homes and row homes and also single single homes, two, three, well, actually three and four-story homes in Winfield. Okay, and Winfield is somewhat safe, but you still got to watch yourself. It's still Philadelphia. Okay, it's one of the safer communities in comparison to the other parts of Philadelphia. Then there's Winfield Heights. Winfield Heights is a former Jewish turned diverse community. You have blacks, whites, Asians, Hispanics that live in Winfield Heights. It's similar to Winfield. Um, very quiet, um, suburban, but the character is a lot of row homes and tree lined streets in Winfield Heights. Then sandwiched in between Winfield and Winfield Heights, you have. Um, what do you have? Belmont Village. And some people think Belmont Village is Winfield. It's right next to it because it's similar in character. It has row homes, is um, tree lined streets, like a little quiet suburb within the city. And that's that. Now, Overbrook. Overbrook is like a city within a city, sort of. Okay. In Overbrook, you have low income areas. You have middle class areas, okay? Overbrook is pretty big. Now, there's this, another part. Uh, it's a part of Overbrook that we all call Hilltop because a lot of the streets go up and it's on a hill overlooking other parts of West Philly. So we call that Hilltop, okay? Right north of Overbrook, you have Overbrook Farms, which, again, we got three to four-story single homes, another suburb within the city, very nice area. Very nice and quiet up that part, okay? And it's also the place where Muhammad Ali once lived. And I'll get into all of who lived where and what, and maybe at another video if requested, okay? And next to Overbrook Farms is Overbrook Park. Overbrook Park is a former Jewish community turned African-American community. It changed in the 90s. This is a middle-class area. A lot of police officers and professionals, other professionals live in that area where it's mostly African Americans. They still have a few kosher delis along the main drag of Overbrook Park, which is Haverford Avenue. You know, there's a lot of stores there. You got some poppy stores, you have Chinese stores, you have different restaurants, and you have a shopping center up there in Overbrook Park. So it's one of the better neighborhoods, but you still gotta watch yourself. You gotta watch it. You know, you got you can let your guard down a little bit. Okay? Then there's Haddington, which is the hood of Overbrook. Okay, and Cobbs Creek was a lower middle class community. And you have to watch yourself around there. That's a hood of all intents and purposes, Cobbs Creek. Now, also Cobbs Creek spills into Southwest Philadelphia. Now let's go on to the Southwest. Okay, in Southwest you have basically Pascoville, Cobbs Creek, King Sesson, and you have Eastwick. Those are the four sections in Southwest Philadelphia. Now, Eastwick is the home of the Philadelphia International Airport. It's a middle-class neighborhood. Um, a lot of um, your foreigners, immigrants live in that part of Southwest, and I'll get into that in a minute. Now, right next to Eastwick is Pascoville. A lot of native Africans from the continent of Africa, places like Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, you have a lot of Liberians that live in Pascoville, and there's a business strip along Pascoville called Woodland Avenue, and a lot of people refer to that as Little Africa, because a lot of Africans live in that part. King Sesson is just north of Pascoville. That's a hood, you know, in all intents and purposes. That's a hood. It's just as much as Cobbs Creek. So Southwest Philadelphia. Um, it's either part middle class or part ghetto. 
and you really, really got to watch yourself. There's some high crime areas in southwest Philadelphia. Now, let's go to northwest. Now, we don't refer to it as northwest Philadelphia. Nobody says I'm from northwest Philly. A lot of the younger people, the younger generation refers to that as uptown. Now, when I was growing up, we never, we never referred to it as uptown Philly. Now, okay, let's look at the different sections of Northwest Philadelphia or that area, the Northwest corner of the city. You have Germantown, Mount Airy, Roxboro, Maniunk, Chestnut Hill, East Falls, Olney, Olney parts of Olney, Somerville, and um, let's see what else do you have? West Oak Lane. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this area. Okay. Maniunk. Maniunk is like a mini San Francisco. And not so much in sexual pre sexuality or anything of that nature, but just in income, social, social economic income. You know, um, at one time, Manny Young was um, considered um, poor white trash, if you will. Neighborhoods, mainly a lot of poor whites lived in Manny Young. But then that, that changed in the 90s when a lot of yuppies started to move there, bringing up the, raising the values of the properties. And there's a lot of mom and pop boutique stores along Main Street. It's similar to Society Hill, but with hills, it's like a mini San Francisco. Okay, lots of hills. Bridges to go across the Schuylkill River, one of the major waterways of Philadelphia. Okay, Maniunk is that. It's a good place to go if you want to go to a coffee coffee house show. You want to see a show or poetry that goes on out there. Um, go to a, go to some of the restaurants, mom and pop restaurants. They have a few Starbucks along there. If you want to go catch a movie, there's an AMC movie theater in Maniunk, right along Main Street, right next to another uh, major street that runs through Maniunk called Ridge Avenue, okay? So that's what Maniunk is. And next to Maniunk is Roxborough, which is a middle-class neighborhood, uh, both black and white, half black, half black, white, and then there's some Asians in the mix as well. Oh, one other thing, speaking of Asians, there's a Chinatown in Center City. I forgot to mention that. Chinatown's another section in Center City. And it lives up to its name. It has a lot of Asian-owned businesses, restaurants, stores, banks, you name it. It's Chinatown. Okay, now, we have Roxborough. Again, it's like a suburb within the city. Middle-class area, very safe, quiet, peaceful. But again, still got to, you know, keep your guards up because it's still Philadelphia. Now, Germantown. Germantown is definitely a city within a city because it's, you have suburban style neighborhoods or parts to Germantown. You have the ghetto and you have um, some upper middle class places and some homes in Germantown. Okay, they have a major business district along Germantown Avenue, which is the, the, main, the main street of Germantown. Germantown and Shelton Avenue. There's a lot of different stores there, like Payless Shoes, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's supermarkets. Uh, what else is out there? Checks, um, check cashing places. You you have all kinds of stuff. You know, go look it up in Germ in Germantown. Okay, so that's like a city within the city. And there's also another part called East Germantown, which is a neighborhood right next to Germantown. It was a middle class community. Uh, it's like a lower to mid, middle class neighborhood. And right next to East Germantown, you have West Oak Lane, which is the opposite of East Oak Lane. Okay, West Oak Lane was also a former Jewish middle class community turned African American, predominantly African American middle class community. And they have a major business district on Ogontz Avenue. Also, um, West Oak Lane is referred to as Ogontz um, to some people. Okay, got to watch yourself around there. It's a middle class hood. You know, people, some people are okay. They're doing all right with the middle class, but you got to still watch yourself around there. Next to West Oakland, you have Somerville, 
Somerville, basically, that's debatable. Some people consider Somerville West Oakland. Some people say it's North Philly. Some people say it's Germantown. You know, I consider it Germantown myself. It's um, basically a middle class area, lower to middle class. You got some low income people that live in Somerville. You got another place you got to watch yourself walking around. Okay, now further up, just west of Germantown and West Oak Lane is Mount Airy. Mount Airy is a diversified community. You have black, white, Hispanic, Asian that live in Mount Airy. Very, it's like a suburb within the city. Very nice, um, peaceful. A lot of families live there. You know, it's very family oriented. It's similar to Winfield. Uh, Mount Airy, this is in the northwest corner. Now, further down towards the city limits of Philadelphia, you have Chestnut Hill. You have some mansions in that area. You have, you know, it's an upper middle class community, um, mainly black and white. You know, it's a very pricey area. You know, is you're going to spend some money if you want to move to Chestnut Hill. Chestnut Hill is a very nice area. And Germantown Avenue goes through that part as well, just as much as Mount Airy. You have a lot of your mom and pop bookstores, boutiques, restaurants, cafes, you name it, in Chestnut Hill. And there's a college up there called Chestnut Hill College. I think it's a school exclusively for women, but I think they started to make it co-ed. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure yet. We'll talk about it maybe on another video. Okay, so that's Northwest Philadelphia. Now, Let's go to the Northeast. Now, Northeast, there's plenty of neighborhoods. You have Frankfurt, Bridesburg, Tacony, Mayfair, Fox Chase, uh, Crescentville, uh, Lawn Crest, Mechanicsville, Bustleton North and South. Well, just Bustleton. You have, if I said Tacony, I think I did say Tacony. Uh, you got Oxford Circle. You got Home Circle. Now, pretty much the Northeast, well, when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, um, and previous to that, the Northeast was a predominantly white area. And now today, you have, for the most part, whites are the minority there. You have African American, Hispanic, and Asian that live there in those communities. Now, Frankfurt, a school of Frankfurt. Frankfurt is a low income area, it's the hood. You gotta watch stuff around there. Bridesburg is similar to Frankfurt. Um, it's been known for like mostly poor whites that lived around that area. Tacony, Tacony is lower to middle class area. And the same thing goes with Mayfair. Mayfair and Oxford, Oxford Circle and Home Circle is another middle class part. The majority of Northeast is basically middle, lower to middle class area. That that whole entire part of Philadelphia, okay? You got Fox Chase, and I believe that used to be a Jewish community, but now it's racially mixed. Fox Chase and Bustleton North and South. So that's what Northeast is in terms of that. Mechanicsville is also the home of what used to be called Franklin Mills Mall is the Philadelphia Mills Mall. So that's what Northeast, and Northeast is the gateway to the suburbs. Uh, and that part of, uh, that touches Northeast, that's Bucks County. And I'm going to get into that in a minute. Now, um, that's pretty much, I cover most of Philadelphia. Uh, if anybody um, want to comment on the page or comment on this and, um, you know, mention any other neighbors I forgot to mention, please feel free to do that. Now, some people want to know what county is Philadelphia. Okay, let me tell you something. The city of Philadelphia and the county of Philadelphia is one and the same. So in other words, once you move out of Philadelphia, you leave Philadelphia County. Once you leave the city of Philadelphia, you leave the county of Philadelphia. It's one and the same. Now, touching Philadelphia are your suburban areas. You got Montgomery County, and I can do a video on that if anybody wants. You got Montgomery County. You have Delaware County, which are in the, Delaware County is in the west and southwest part. 
is connected to west and southwest of Philly. Montgomery is connected to west, north, and northwest Philadelphia. Bucks County is connected to the northeast side of Philadelphia. Okay, now, further over west of um, Delaware County, you have Chester County. Okay, and further north past Bucks County, you have Lehigh County. That's the home where Dorney Park is, Allentown, and so on. Now, if you're not in those areas of Pennsylvania, you are either going into New Jersey or further past Delaware County is the state of Delaware. And that's another thing. Don't let the names fool you. I think I might do a video on Delaware County and Montgomery County and show you what communities is which. But that's pretty much the section that I spoke about, all the sections and the parts of Philadelphia is it, okay? And there you have it. That's the city of Philadelphia and the county of Philadelphia. You guys take care. Y'all have a good day.